I thought it'd be fun to share a Remnant workflow idea for people who are job searching, like me. I'm not comfortable sharing my personal information, so everything you're gonna see is entirely fictional. Let me paint you a day. It's 9 a.m. and I just finished reading the book Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. So, going to quickly enter this on my daily document. At 10 a.m. I go on Twitter and I see a Matt Diavella tweet where he's looking for people to join his team. I click on the link and check out the positions. Okay, I'm interested in the content creator and community manager position and also the video editor role. I don't have time to look into the details right now, so I DM this to Remnote Bot to save the tweet on my Remnote. And then I go in my Remnote to add this as a to-do, and here's the format. Typing apply for position at the company, and we'll tag that as job application. I will later tag the job application as a document so I can easily access it later on on the sidebar. Just creating another to-do for the other position. I continue to go about my day. At 11 a.m., I had a meeting with Tim Cook about a secret project. So just quickly jotting that down as well. I also heard something interesting from a webinar I attended at 2 p.m., which is, you can't read the label from inside the jar. And I'll dive into that deeper later. 4 p.m., I was looking through Google Careers, and I came across this customer solutions engineer role, and I thought that was cool. Since I'm on my laptop, I will use the Remnote Clipper to save this web page. And again, go on my daily docs to add this on my to-do list. At 8 p.m., I now have the time to review my daily docs. And as you can see, there's a lot of random information here which is just the way I like it for the daily notes because it's my home base. But this is why I chose to create a tag for job application. So when I click it, I see all the positions I was thinking of applying. Then I could zoom in on each bullet, which means open that page because each bullet could be a page. And I start adding more details here. Now, I'm going to copy this information that I want to fill out and paste it under this to do. Okay, source. This is really up to you. This can be a link or just a general website like quote unquote Indeed. For this one, I'm going to drag the tweet where I originally learned about this opportunity. By the way, this is where the tweets DM to Remnote bot are saved. Now, just looking at more details on how to apply for this position. Okay, so they want a resume, portfolio, and a project I'm most proud of. Totally forgot to add a deadline. So just type two exclamation points and pick a date. All right, updates. This is where I would document things like completed job application online. Let's say, for example, I was invited for an interview. I should learn more about the company, you know, like what Slow Growth Academy is about, like basically do my research. Or even better, because of bi-directional linking or text references, 
maybe two months ago, I read an article mentioning it. Like that could come up down here. So I could use all this info to formulate my questions for the interview. Speaking of that, most of the time they would mention who's going to interview you. And let's say mine is actually Matt Diavella who's going to interview me. So obviously I should do a research on him as well. And instead of putting everything I learned about him under that bullet, I'm gonna make Matt Devella a reference. I want him to have his own page because he may be working for Slow Growth Academy now, but who knows, tomorrow he may work for Amazon. It's also a good way to keep track of all the people I come in contact with to expand my network. And then just inserting this particular YouTube video on RemNote. This is just a workflow idea. If it gave you some inspiration, give this video a thumbs up. Also check out my other videos on RemNote, and thanks so much for watching!